Welcome back. It's time to get a check of your weather with meteorologist Nate Larson and for Thomas today. And Nate, I see snow behind you. It's still coming down in parts of the state this morning. Yeah, we're getting just a few flurries still. This is a Beaver Ridge, uh, Jillian, I-15. So areas that have been seeing snow across southern Utah still dealing with some light showers and we're not done with the moisture uh, just yet. We're going to continue to see some snow fill in throughout the morning across northern Utah. Almost looks like it uh, should be daylight or maybe it's a delayed image, but no, this is uh, just a beautiful shot. Some of the cameras uh, overnight are incredible with what they're able to see, especially given we have a uh, nearly full moon. Uh, in fact, it peaks tonight with our uh, December or cold moon uh, occurring uh, about nine o'clock this evening as it comes back up. So Deer Valley showing again some of the low level stratus clouds or the fog that's impacting some of our mountain valleys along the Wasatch back along the uh, Wasatch front. We're seeing the inversion uh, and the low level stratus uh, cloud deck that's been trapped within the inversion, making it feel pretty ominous or cloudy out there. But in general, it's pretty clear above that inversion layer. Moisture's on the move. We've been tracking the showers down south. It's going to slide into central, even northern Utah throughout the day today. So essentially some statewide snow showers, if not rain down south. Uh, active pattern remains in place with another quick moving storm on Friday and yet more showers and storms, uh, if not snow showers uh, and some rain over the weekend into early next week. So future cast showing again, still warm enough across the southern part of the state, southeast corner to see some rain, if not snow into the higher elevation, snow levels of above about 4,500 feet across the southeast corner and snow spreading into central and eventually northern Utah. This is three o'clock. Models starting to hint at some possible or potential snow across the Wasatch Front even as this trough of low pressure migrates through the state uh, into the evening. Snow showers will taper off. We'll see quieter weather setting up on Thursday, but systems lining up. I mentioned a quick hitting storm system on Friday. This particular model showing it hitting earlier on Friday than later. Some models showing it in the afternoon. We'll kind of keep tabs on this, but either way, a chance of some snow on Friday, very light accumulation similar to today. And then another storm Saturday, Sunday, Monday, even into Tuesday next week. So chances of moisture for the Wasatch Front. Thursday is the quiet day. We've got good chance of some snow, snow showers this afternoon and evening. Uh, especially by the evening for northern parts of the Wasatch Front, but earlier in the day for uh, Utah County. And then a chance of moisture Friday, Saturday, best chance Sunday into Monday. Could be a bit of a wintry mix with southwest flow in place on Sunday, but uh, should be a good storm system into Monday, especially for the mountain areas. So here's kind of one of the model estimates, what we could expect to see. Expecting about an inch, maybe two down in Provo. Lesser amounts the farther north you go from Salt Lake. So Kaysville, maybe a half of an inch. Ogden as well, a couple, three inches for Park City. Colville, about two inches. And then another storm, as I mentioned on Friday, we'll, hit, we'll add a, an inch or two on top of what we're expecting expecting to see with mountain areas seeing a few more inches. So not a big storm today or on Friday down in St. George. We're looking at a chance of rain 49 today near 50 tomorrow and on Friday. No big changes minus uh, the lack of rain, I guess tomorrow, Friday and then 53 on Saturday. Rain will push in Sunday, Monday. The chance of rain and snow temperatures falling just 40 degrees on Tuesday. On Wednesday, so for today, chance of moisture this afternoon and evening, just 34 for the high, 40 on Thursday, chance of moisture Friday, chances on Saturday, Sunday, rain, snow showers over to snow, 34 for the high, plan on uh, temperatures falling to just 29 on Tuesday, snow showers likely just lingering into the morning before things kind of clear out and then it gets very cold for overnight lows as well into Wednesday. Green lines across the Salt Lake Valley, meaning the drive's still pretty quiet out there. Even up Parley's Canyon, looks like for the most part the drive's pretty quiet. Uh, and we're seeing average drive times uh, even out west on 80 to Tooele, about 32 minutes uh, from Tooele to Salt Lake. Average drive times uh, Parley's as well into Park City. Back to you guys.